So a lot of people are saying that they would give Ron DeSantis a second look if he announced a running mate now. And who might that running mate be? Mitch McConnell. What's up, everyone? This is the Everything Else channel on YouTube, everythingelsechannel.com. As always, I keep it real. No filter. A lot of people in Kentucky are saying this. I don't know if this is a sentiment that would make a difference in the country. I know that Mitch has got a lot of people that don't like him because of his stance on Trump. And I know that a lot of people think he's a rhino. A lot of people think he's part of the swamp. A lot of people said he should have been gone a long time ago. He's the longest running senator right now. And he's also the uh, Senate uh, leader for the Republicans. And a lot of people don't like Mitch McConnell. So I, I don't know. But again, maybe... It's the ultra, because the people here that are saying it, I mean, honestly, it's a lot of KCS people, Kentucky Conservative Society. They're like the old guard of the conservative circles here in Kentucky. And um, there's only a hundred of them in the whole Commonwealth. It's sort of like, um, I don't want to say it's a secret society because we're talking about it. It can't be that secret, right? If we're talking about it, but they only have a hundred members and nobody knows who they are, but they're supposedly like very like, you know, like like key people kind of thing. And they have a publication. And it's like, it's, it's really weird. But anyways, they're usually right about everything. Like they're like, you know, nuts on bolts. They're right about everything. And so the KCS is, you know, basically saying in their like little like publication, like e-zine or whatever it is that they call it. They're saying that a lot of them, all 100 of them, but still these are like ma KCS or major movers and shakers. They're saying that they would give Ron DeSantis a second look if you announce a running mate, they're saying if, if, like, I don't even know. Like, I know that Ted Cruz, when that really bizarre, like, he was like, I think he was like, he was winning some states and he was like somewhat in the race against Trump. But it, it was pretty obvious he wasn't going to beat Trump. But right before they went to the convention in Cleveland, uh, he picked Carly Fiorina as his running mate, which was ridiculous because he wasn't the nominee but they had this weird ceremony and like, it was just like a, it was a weird thing. And uh, I don't even know if it helped him in the polls or not, but it's a strategy. So it's not like it would be totally, you know, new. It's been done before. It's just weird. A lot of people are saying it also because Trump may not do these initial Republican debates, not because he's scared. Come on, guys. Trump's a front runner. Everybody wants Trump. I mean, that's stupid to say that he's scared. Who is he scared of? Mike Pence? But the reason he doesn't want to do it is because these guys are, do you guys remember back in 2016 when uh, Trump and oddly enough from right here in Kentucky, Rand Paul kind of had like a little kind of a, I don't know, that little spat on stage there. And Trump looks over and says, you know, I don't even know why you're on this stage. You're pulling like 1%. And it was, he was 100% right. I mean, he was like, he like looked and the guy was like six spots over, you know, and so that is what I think is motivating Trump not to do these debates. Why is he going to debate against Mike Pence, who's talking to like four people, and Ron DeSantis, who is having to lay off his staff because he can't get any money? What's in it for him? You know, if anything, there's something in it for the guys that are polling terribly, you know, something maybe for Nikki Haley. I don't even know what her numbers are. I like her, but come on. She doesn't have a prayer against Trump. So I understand. So... I think that's why a lot of these KCS, like, you know, old school conservatives are saying that if Ron DeSantis announced a running mate right now, like sort of right before these debates, that maybe that would pressure Trump into debating. Maybe it would get them some money. Uh, maybe it would get them some, some higher poll numbers. I don't know. But I don't think that, again, and I'm not a conservative. I'm not a Democrat, a liberal. I'm not, I'm not an anything. I'm an independent which I know that a lot of people hate independence because they're like, will you guys just pick a side? I'm like, no, I'm not going to pick a side. You know, if I vote for a Democrat today and I vote for a Republican tomorrow, I vote for a libertarian, and I have vote for libertarians before, and not just like your rinky-dinky dog catcher positions, like real actual positions. I have voted libertarian and I have voted green. I don't vote on party. I vote on person. I vote on ideas and I vote on track record. So I'm not going to have some, you know, career politician bamboozle me out of my vote. It's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. But but in any event, a lot of these KCS folks are saying, you know, that a DeSantis McConnell ticket would be just what the doctor ordered. What's interesting is they're not saying that they would win. 
Okay, so let's. I don't want to put KCS out there and make him look bad because, again, the secret society, it's not super secret. Obviously, we're talking about it, but I don't know who they are. It could be the guy I have coffee with for all I know. But I guess what they're trying to say is, is that it would raise money, it would help them with the polling numbers, and it might get Trump to, into the debate. Those are three things that, I, I mean, I don't know. Leave a comment. What do you think? But I think that if those are the goals... Because the goal is not to get the GOP nomination. The goal is not to be Trump. The goal, as I said, from what I gather from their little newsletter, is for the DeSantis ticket, which is starving for money, to get money because they can't pay their staff. That's the thing. They, they don't have a staff really at this point. I think they're working on a skeleton crew. So they don't have a – they need to pay a – first of all, they need to hire a staff. They need to pay the staff. So, so get money into those coffers would be the first thing. At this point – I'm going to agree with the KCS. I'm going to agree with them. At this point, anything Ron DeSantis does, anything is better than whatever he's doing because whatever he's doing is not working. So if he announces Mitch, first of all, Mitch would want, to, would want to do it. I don't know if Mitch wants to do it. Why would he want to be vice president? Some maybe would argue, well, he'd become the president of the Senate. Uh, that's not really accurate. I know the vice president is the president of the Senate. And it isn't just to break the vote, uh, to break the tie. He is actually the president of the Senate. But with the exception of breaking a tie, the president of the Senate doesn't do anything. In fact, that's why the vice president's never in the Senate chambers unless he's there to break a tie or she's there to break a tie. We haven't had a woman yet, but we will, I think. Um, so I don't think that that would be, I mean, why would he want to stop being uh, the Senate Republican leader to then be this figurehead president of the Senate uh, and that's assuming that they got elected. They're not going to get elected. But what, what would be in it for Mitch McConnell to join a ticket with Ron DeSantis? But again, it's a KCS. These guys have never been wrong about anything. So, I mean, I don't know. But okay. But but yeah, I, th I think we can all agree, right, that it would it would bring some money in. I mean, I don't, I don't think it would. I, I, I think it would bring some money in. Number two, I think it would help their polling numbers. Absolutely, because they would be the only ticket. I mean, Trump doesn't even have a running mate. So the fact that Ron DeSantis would have a running mate, even though he's not polling very well, I think he's polling better than Mike Pence, though. So it's not like he's dead last or anything. And, and that, again, is kind of a similarity to Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz was by no means dead last. Ted Cruz was, like, riding Trump's coattails, and he was winning states while he was doing it. And, and he wasn't, like, making Trump nervous, but he was certainly a thorn in his side, a bigger thorn than Kasich or than Rubio, or than any of those guys. Ted Cruz was an actual thorn in Trump's side, even though Trump was still going to get the nomination. So, you know, in a weird way, you know, DeSantis is kind of, you know, inheriting that role. And so if he picks a running mate now, like I said, it's not going to hurt him. You know, even with somebody that is as polarizing as Mitch McConnell, because a lot of Republicans and conservatives do not like Mitch McConnell. But if, if he joined the ticket... Would it help DeSantis' polling numbers? I mean, it couldn't hurt. At this point, there isn't much that could hurt Ron DeSantis. You know what I mean? Uh, he'd have to pull a Gary Hart pretty much at this point. There, there's really nothing that could hurt Ron DeSantis. So could it help his polling numbers? Sure. I mean, what do you, don't you, you know, even a point or two. I mean, we can agree to at least a point or two, right? I mean, you know. And then I, I think the, the one that I think is going to be the hardest of the three things that the KCS is talking about is pressuring Trump into the debate. Now, Trump does not like Mitch McConnell. He does not like Mitch McConnell. And maybe Ron DeSantis bringing Mitch onto his ticket might antagonize Trump enough. But the thing is, Trump wouldn't be debating Mitch McConnell. He would be debating Ron DeSantis. So I don't think that bringing McConnell onto a DeSantis ticket is going to somehow lure or pressure or antagonize Trump into debating Ron DeSantis. But it's an interesting theory. I don't know. And again, this is all like kind of like your fantasy ticket, your fantasy election, because I can guarantee you the fact that I'm bald, that Ron DeSantis and Mitch McConnell have never spoken about this. And this is probably, but again, that's what the case, let me put it to you this way. Because I'm having trouble describing the KCS as a secret society because it's laughable. It was a secret society and here I am talking about them. But then again, Skull and Bones, you know, they're a secret society. People know about them. Hell, people even know like, like they're crypt, right? But they don't know anything about them. So I guess it could be a secret society. But I think KCS would, 
I think a more appropriate sort of box, right? Because we have to have a box, right? You got to be a liberal, a Democrat. Everybody's got to have a box, right? I mean, I'm, I'm being facetious, obviously. I don't fit into a political box, but if we're going to categorize them into something, I would call them a think tank, uh, much more so than a secret society. But whatever they are, they're very, very intelligent. They're very, very well read and they're very, very well placed. And if they think that Ron DeSantis bringing Mitch McConnell onto his ticket would get him more money, better poll numbers, and lure Donald Trump into the debate. I mean, what the heck does Donald Trump, excuse me, what the heck does Ron DeSantis have to lose? You know what I mean? At this point, Ron DeSantis is a non-factor next to Donald Trump. He's a little bit less of a non-factor than Mike Pence. I don't even know why Mike Pence is even out there campaigning. Interesting. I'll make a video about this uh, at a later date. But interesting how the only people that talk to RFK Jr. is Fox. And the only people that talk to Mike Pence is CNN. So in a weird way, Mike Pence is like the spoiler candidate that the liberals are in love with. Notice I say the liberals, not liberals. I'm not a liberal. The liberals are in love with Mike Pence because they think that Mike Pence is somehow going to be able, yes, he is a Tea Party guy. Yes, he's a hardcore conservative. Yes, he's respected in social conservative circles. Yes, in theory, he should be able to, to take out Trump uh, in theory at the convention. In reality, Trump hasn't even tried and Mike Pence is a non-factor even before the first debate, you know. But in any event, um, what do you guys think of a DeSantis-McConnell ticket? Do you think the KCS is right? Or do you think this is the first time in their entire history that they couldn't be more wrong? As always, guys, thanks for watching Everything Else Channel on YouTube, everythingelsechannel.com coming soon. Please like this video if you like it, you know, or if you don't. Uh, subscribe, ring the bell, jing, 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 jing for notifications and leave a comment down below. I definitely want you to leave comments down below for this one because I think the KCS are out of their mind. But maybe I'm the one that's wrong and they're the ones that are right.